We say good afternoon from Richardson Stadium here in Davidson, North Carolina. It's the week one coach's corner with head coach Scott Abel brought to you by Wade and Associates. I'm Corey Hodges alongside Coach Abel and Coach we were discussing before we started the uh, show this uh, morning that you know things are starting to round into form. We've only got about five or so days left now before we are on this field playing Georgetown on August the 31st. So with all that in mind I know you were speaking about leadership and all the things that you want to see and wanted to see through camp. Now that camp is over, maybe discuss some of that leadership that you've seen bubble to the surface. Sure. Yeah, you, we, I thought we had a great camp. You know, now that, that we, we can reflect back on uh, what those three weeks were for us. And I think as a head coach, you want to see your leadership grow. You want to see those guys uh, really step up. And I think our captains just did a tremendous job. You know, our, our team last spring elected six captains. Uh, at our spring game and uh, you know I think they just did a tremendous job leading our team to, to the areas we need to grow in and uh, you know we talked about this on the first show that you know in camp you want to see a group come together you, you know it's a, each year's a new team and um, I think as we head into week one I feel great about where we are and the leadership we're getting from our upperclassmen and our captains. And with all that being said with the leadership such an important angle you look maybe more around that roster you can see that freshmen are also a big part of the equation over 25 freshmen on the team this year some of the things that they've been going through in camp that you've been able to notice alongside your assistant coaches quite possibly the difference between morning practice in high school as opposed to morning practice in college it has to be a little bit different for those 25 or so well yeah I think for the, the newcomers in your program each year it's a it's certainly a learning experience going through your first college camp I think it's probably one of the the more difficult things, um, mainly because when, when you report to camp as a, as a first year in college, you know, we're, we're full steam ahead. We're getting ready for, for this year in Georgetown specifically, and, and the first years are playing catch up. And that's tough, you know, learning a new language, lear learning new systems, getting acclimated. But I, I think this group has just really done a tremendous job. I, I, I couldn't be more proud of, I think, what we've seen in camp out of our first years. and. I think you're going to see some of those guys really uh, step up and, and be, be role players and play some key, key roles as, as we head into our season. Um, you know, it's, uh, they're a talented group, um, and uh, we look for great things from them, you know, not just in our future, but maybe right now. Now, whether they are freshmen or sophomores or juniors or seniors, everyone enjoys a little bit of downtime, some time to relax, and you've been able to find some spots in the uh, camp schedule to give the guys a chance to relax a little bit. I know there was a trip to Lake Norman. Everyone was happy about that. Got a chance to spend at the lake. We all love to do that, especially in this part of North Carolina. It's always a good way to, I'm sure, alleviate a little bit of stress that way, to plan those days in, to give the guys a chance to get away from football, if only for a few hours, right? Yeah, you, you always look for those opportunities, those moments where yeah. you can collectively get away as a team um, and, and as a family and enjoy each other off of this field. You know, uh, Rich and Stadium, this is our home. We love being out here working, but uh, the guys really appreciate when you, you're able to do some things outside of here. And so getting, getting out the Lake Campus, you know, letting our guys enjoy the beach out there and the opportunity to boat around a little bit, uh, to get on paddle boards, get on kayaks. Uh, uh, I, I'm really happy we had that opportunity. And then the opportunity to get down to the Panthers, you know, to, to take in a Panthers game for, for some of our players, first time they've ever been to an event like that. So, you know, we talk about this in recruiting with our team that this is much more than football. You know, coming to Davidson to play, you know, you're coming here to get this elite education, but it, it's about an experience. And so um, that, that, is very meaningful and impactful for us. So glad we had those opportunities this year. Glad they worked out. Glad the weather held out for us. So uh, yeah, I, I think they both were, were great experiences for our young men. Well, here in about five or six days, we'll be playing on this very field here at Richardson Stadium. And it's Georgetown coming out on August the 31st. So three things you're looking forward to, Coach Abel, to try to take down Georgetown, to compete with Georgetown on Saturday. Yeah, I think the first thing is uh, uh, the battle inside the trenches, you know, up front. Uh, the area we probably um, graduated the most uh, experience and you know seeing how those guys compete up front we're real excited for that we think they've had a great camp and a great spring but now we get to see really uh, up up front for real um, where we are and so I, I'm really look forward to that and you know defensively I, I look forward to seeing you know uh, how our guys tackle in space we know that's a key for us each and every year um, what, you know, there's been some subtle changes over there some personnel changes we're excited about and you know offensively you know uh, 
how, how, how can we get our triple option going? How can we get our spread option going? You know, um, week one's always like a chess match for us. We're not sure what defense we're going to see because we have no film um, uh, to look at prior to this game. So, and they've had all camp to prepare for us. So um, really, really excited to get it out there uh, to see what we're going to see out of Georgetown. Excited to see those battles that we've talked about and uh, just really looking forward to week one. Really excited for it for sure. Right here on the field, it was fan fest. So many fans were out. Of course, we discussed in our uh, preseason camp feature the uh, Pack Richardson initiative that is uh, trying to fill every single one of these seats here on Saturday. So again, that's August the 31st, 1 o'clock. It's Georgetown and Davidson to start the season off. As always, Coach Abel, thank you for taking uh, some time to come out and speak with us. And we're looking forward as you are to Saturday. Thanks, Corey. Yes, sir. This has been the Camp Coaches Corner Week 1 Edition, brought to you by Wade & Associates. Corey Hodges, Coach Abel, saying so long from Davidson.